It's time for Money Matters, and we're joined today by Josh Bradley from Capital City Financial Partners. Hi, Josh. Hello. So it's time for back to school again, and we all know those lists can get kind of expensive. Are there ways to plan so that we don't overspend? Yeah, in a year like this, when inflation's really beating us up on other areas, saving on back to school is, is important. With that, the first step with this is always to take inventory of kind of what you need uh, for to buy. Um, the mostly just the necessities, but see what you need to buy. Second is just look around the house to see what you may already have. I can't tell you how many years I look around the house and find half the stuff that we were <laughs> going to buy already. Uh, the third is just to run that list online, whether it's Walmart, Staples, Amazon, lots of great deals online are there to be had. Oh, good tips. Are there any other ways we could look to save money? Yeah, with well, online shopping is a key. Uh, however, be wary of kind of shipping costs there that could add on uh, and make things actually more expensive. A second idea is maybe to split up uh, items with fr friends or family in bulk where you maybe buy bulk of one item, they buy bulk of another, and then you share it across both of y'all. What do you think about the idea of taking your child shopping with you? Yeah, this is usually one that I definitely try to avoid. Uh, one, you're already tired from shopping and spending money. They see the hottest new thing out there, they want it, and sometimes it's hard to say no. So typically I say, let's leave them at home. And the other idea is, is that maybe you only buy a little bit at the beginning of school year, the bare necessities, and then you go a few weeks later and buy the rest that you may need. Oh, makes a lot of sense, thank you. For more information and resources to help make your money matter, visit the Money Matters page on WISTV.com.